Hi. So in this video, you will see me doing a guided out-of-body experience. I'm working with Patricia. She's an amazing person, super creative, loving, kind, and most of all, she has great visuals. And with people who have great visuals, it is easy to work with, guide them through, have them see stuff. And the best part of it all is that Patricia discovers a soul trap in her own eyes, her own experience, her own words. And you will hear all about it in the few minutes. And at the same time, after you will see the whole process, I will explain how it works, the whole story. So stay tuned. And you might actually want to learn to do the same thing. Patricia, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I love you. Um, you mentioned like you want to do something similar like you, like Rich and I do and all this stuff. So how can I help you? Like to guide you with your visuals, to like teach you how to do things. What can I do for you? <laughs> Let me know. Uh, guide me with my visuals. I definitely need, absolutely. My visuals are intense. Mm-hmm. Oh my, as you know, as you just saw, it's like, so what I do is, um, I can, I can feel my field. So like it, it goes near, like I just oof, right away and I, I can spin things, uh, in, in my feet, in my visuals. Like I want to, um, I just, I, I feel like I need training. <laughs> okay. You know uh, I mean. We can, we can try something right now if you want to. Yeah. All right. So, you know, like you can close your eyes, like relax, and we'll go from there. And let me know, like, when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. So, focus on who were you right before you came here on Earth? So there's a big white screen. Now it's like ch changing colors. It was white. Now it's changing purple colors. So who was I before I came here to Earth? I hear whispers. And now I s this cord is coming in. It's black. Mm -hmm. Can you sense what this court is all about? Like, is it here to give information or is it good, bad? It's like pumping. I feel like it's pumping something. Mm -hmm. it, it, and there's, it's like pumping stuff. Okay. See the, in, now the cord is like over here. And am I supposed to look into the cord? It's like stuck to my eye now. Why the fuck is it in my eye? All right. Try to look at like at yourself from the perspective of the cord. Like if you were to shift your consciousness and look from the perspective of the cord, what do you see? How do I do that? Let's see. Um, imagine like, I, yeah. I'm the cord, right? Mm, that's hard. Okay. Oh. Right, something just shifted. So all I see is white. There's like nothing there. Okay. Now, how long ago was this incident? Like how many years? How many? I got two, but no, it's not two million. <laughs> yeah. Two million, and then I saw, now I'm seeing a heart. Okay. Who was I? And I heard galactic person. <laughs> okay, go with that. Now, what happened? Galactic person two million years ago. Crash, death, crash. Yeah. Can you go like a few minutes before the crash? Oh, 
Um, with no ego. Oh yeah, I kind of like saw an icicle. Mm -hmm. And then I see a, um, so an, a, a triangle, which actually I saw this triangle a long time ago. It's like a ship. Okay. Uh, what happened? It was shaking, something shaking. Mm -hmm. Shaking. And then... You popped out of your body. It's weird because I see something spinning counterclockwise mm -hmm. and there's a mountain and there's a light in the mountain and there's a black mountain now and it's like this this cloud going around the mountain or yeah. pyramid. Am I on the right track? I have no idea. Yeah, it's okay. Now, as you focus on this mountain, what kind of story about it do you perceive? Do you get any information about it? So now the mountain is it turned into a crystal and it's spinning clockwise. So I, I don't know if it's a mountain now or a pyramid. Um, and I've seen this before. And now there's one, two, three pyramids. And I just, I've seen this before. Okay, continue. And the, the thing, oh, there's like light beings in here. Uh, it's shifting really quickly. It shifts quickly, so it's hard to pinpoint. So maybe I just need to just go with it, like. Yeah, just go with it. Can you try to, let's say, teleport one to one of those light beings and have a conversation with them? So that's interesting. It's showing me, um, I see, um, I always see people like standing in front of me and mm -hmm. I feel like the people are looking at me. Yeah. And like, I feel like it's very misty and I see heads now, I see heads and it's like, I'm looking at a sea of people and um, what I used to do is I used to put a, there was a sphere, like a golden sphere in front of them. Mm -hmm. And I would look at them and then I would just stand and stare at them and they would like shift. And like, that's what they're doing now. They're going into the light. Yeah. They're just literally like, it's almost like saying, it's okay. You can go through the light now. All right. Do you want to do that? Yeah, I'm doing it now. Okay, as, good. I, so uh, is this something that, uh, why are they always standing in front of me? So they're always like moving back and forth. I see them. I see them standing there and it's a crowd of people and, as, and then they go into the light. Like they're waiting to go into, and then the light like closes. Like, okay, I'm good, I'm done. All right. Can you ask one of those people, like, what are they doing? Like, why are they going to the light? What are you doing? Why are you going to the light? We want to get out of here. Mm -hmm. We're done with this place. You are the one, you are helping us. Thank you for all you do. 
We honor you, we love you. And then I think that's my ego, like you're just saying. <laughs> it's okay. Now try to, let's say, go one or five hours back before this incident. So five hours back. Which is interesting is like, I've never seen these pictures before, so I can't explain it. It's weird. It's, it's like, uh, it's very cloudy, though. Like I'm going very cloudy. I feel like my vision's cloudy. Why is it? Yeah. So it's interesting because when I, when I go like this and I open my eyes in the dark, mm -hmm. I can see. I can see. That's good. Do that then. Yeah. So like I close my, I go in the dark and I open my eyes and then I yes. just. That's good. That's good. Uh, okay. So five hours before I died, is that what we're going to look at? Uh, before all those people thanked you while oh. they were going to the light. Five hours before the people thanked me. We, uh, so they were here, they were just here waiting and waiting. And now what I see, what I see is they're further out and they're like, just standing there like this and walking around like people are walking, but there's a light back there. And they, it's almost like they don't know what they're doing. They're kind of just yeah. walking around like this. Walk up to one of those beings and ask, what are you doing here? I'm lost. How long have you been here? Um, um, billions of years. Do you remember how you got here? So a pyramid shifted and I saw a pyramid a long time ago. I'm like trying to pull. I'm trying to pull. I always see mountains and pyramids. Like I see pyramids all the time and then the pyramid what's with pyramids what is that <laughs> it's your signature huh it's your signature when i'm like while you're doing this work for me it's obvious but basically with your whole let's say experience and what you've been doing throughout life lifetimes and just like place you visited it's like it's a you're visiting a place where beings have been stuck for billions of years lost not remembering what the hell is going on they're just like i don't know just like do do, do. Yeah. just like you know like they're not conscious they don't know shit they're like no. zombie like you know yeah and all stuff and you come in creating this force of opening up portal which is the light and your technology, the way you work, it's you can raise the ground, creating mountains and pyramids. That is your technology. That is your power. This is how you open up the portals. And with that, like, oh, okay, you can go now. Yeah. And they do. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're like, okay. <laughs> Tons of them. Like, oh, yay. <laughs> and they're thankful. And you save them. Just like that. <laughs> So I feel like with like these abilities, you can do absolutely everything and anything. It's just the matter of having the freedom and curiosity, like, oh, I'm going to choose one specific thing I'm going to focus on and just explore, see what you find. And you get information and you're like, okay, now what do you do? But like, never try to go logical or to sort of like, oh, it's ego. Oh, it's that. Just allow it to come, whatever it is, just it's going to be the answer. doesn't matter, logical or not. It's just going to be a thing. You have no reason to make shit up or like, oh, I'm going to imagine that like I'm super powerful and they're thinking, you know, it's happening for real. They're thankful for real. 
you're doing it all for real. So me, whenever it's a, it's like I go there first. So there's a lots of them always. Yeah, it's almost like something's always coming. Wow. Yeah, there are all these people that are like. It's a repetitive theme because it's something you do naturally. It's like you meet tons of people who have been zombified, who have been trapped, and you're going yeah. from one place to another, saving billions of them. It's your side job. It's you're like, oh, it's just another planet once again. You know, it's like this is what you do. And and I love doing it. I'm like, I'm so glad to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So in this video, you saw Patricia closing her eyes, shifting her consciousness, and actually as accessing what she has experienced before coming here on Earth. A lot of you try the night. You might dream of these places. You might dream like every night you're doing something important, like you're saving people, you have this mission. And maybe you have some repetitive experiences. Maybe you have same old visuals. It just keeps happening again and again and again. The thing is, each and every one of you can access those memories. Now, Patricia, it's really amazing because for her, she has her trademarks, so to speak. She's working with pyramids, she's working with crystals and lights, and she has her own techniques and methods throughout her life that she has lived. And using those, she's able to create portals, change the worlds and frequencies, and just do a whole lot. And for her, it is normal. It is her default setting so to speak it's her nature to go and help out people specifically those that are trapped in plants she keeps seeing millions of beings trapped and just swinging mindlessly but just think of us here on earth coming here without any memories and we're like what am i doing here why am i here blah 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 all these questions of just like trying to understand ourselves what's going on all this stuff well a lot of beings have gone downwards pilot of the spirituality they forgot who they are, why they're here, what happened. And mindless is stuck in this realm. They just do, 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 just walking around, swinging, and just, okay, nothing new today for billions of years, trapped like that. And that's just one place we're talking about. Patricia has seen tons of these. And that's, again, just sort of like, oh, a lot of beings. I actually might be able to pull out uh, footage from a video game called God of War. And while I was playing it, I remember like, you know, like when Patricia was talking about like, I'm like, huh, this like reminds me of God of War because I've, I've seen the main character, I think like Kratos or whatever his name is, going into this like under, like undead world and just like tons of souls traveling and just walking and all this stuff. And that's what's going on. Like throughout the multiverse, there are tons of beings who are getting abused, who are getting trapped. And they just sort of like consciousness because of their own beliefs and agreements it's kind of like putting labels of, I am human, I am this, I am this, I am this. You're limiting yourself into something. And some people limit themselves into like, I can't be trapped. I can't be affected. And by those beliefs, they end up limiting. And when the being is limited, that being can be affected and captured and trapped and messed with. And now we have hundreds of millions trapped in these soul traps. So with that in mind, it's enough for you to use your visuals, your imagination, your thoughts. Like Patricia just tuned in, she saw this place, created a portal with her thoughts, and boom, every single being that was trapped in that realm is able to leave, and they're thankful because they've been stuck there for billions of years, suffering mindlessly, just sort of nothing to do, just walking around with lots of people here. And that's said, like, they have no knowingness. They are not even, like... Thing. like that, that awareness is not there and she's creating a portal to free all those beings just in this one experience but she's doing it naturally a lot every night and let's say for me my physical body falls asleep and naturally i wake up in these like world war places just like tons of like apocalyptic places and i'm there my default setting is helping out people that's what we do and a lot of you might actually have these repetitive experiences repetitive dreams and you just keep on going and there's something important you have to do. Where are they saving people, finding information or something else? It's natural. So with this, I think it's actually a great example that absolutely anyone can do it. But it's best when you have some visuals. I mean, like it works really smooth. 
And if you have a question, like a target you want to go, you ask a question and your consciousness is like a dog. You give it a command, it's going to go sniff out things. So if you direct yourself into finding your past lives, what have you been doing before coming here? What's your soul name, your soul family, anything you want, you can find it. And I think like, it's amazing to see people using their skills. And for me, Patricia is like freaking awesome. We had a few more sessions and I might upload those as well. And, you know, I think you're going to enjoy it as well. So hopefully what you watched was useful and damn, I sure like working with you, Patricia. So that being said, I'm going to wrap it up for now and we'll see you soon.